Assalamu alaikum. I'm happy and delighted to meet you here today with Dr. Muhammad. My project uh, is uh, entitled Dental Diagnostic Errors in Egypt, Medical Education as a Possible Cause and a Potential Aid in Management. And I am Nagla El Wakil, Oral Medicine and Periodontology Department, Faculty of Dentistry, Al Azhar University Girls Branch. Okay, I uh, preferred uh, to put uh, this uh, chart uh, in order to uh, give you a full picture of uh, what uh, has been uh, done. Okay, uh, my stakeholders, uh, uh, let me use my project uh, uh, two words. Uh, my project was about to address the problems of uh, frequent misdiagnosis in dentistry. Uh, before uh, we started the end, we want to implement a new strategy in the medical education in order to combat this uh, problem. Before uh, we uh, had a discussion about the strategies in medical education, we wanted to know first what are the frequent misdiagnostic errors uh, uh, conducted in the uh, field, uh, because this is the first trial uh, that address this problem. Thus, uh, the first milestone is, was to identify the frequent errors in the dental practice. Uh, the stakeholders, uh, we conducted a questionnaire. What have we done? We conducted a questionnaire among the dental staff members and we identified, we did identify the frequent uh, errors uh, in the field of uh, dentistry. The stakeholders were the staff members, the higher authority of the faculty of dentistry, the dental under and post graduate students, patients, and community. This is the stakeholders. What we need to do in the first step, because we have already finished the uh, first uh, step, and we uh, conducted the questionnaire, we analyzed the data, and the frequent errors were identified. Thus, the second step, we need to arrange a focus group for the uh, next step. We needed to arrange a focus uh, group uh, among uh, dental education professors in order to identify the education strategy uh, that we are going to implement in order to reduce the frequency of diagnostic errors, how to implement the suggested strategy, how to measure its effectiveness, and we should determine the knowledge and resources. Uh, me, my team, my faculty fellows, and uh, year one and year two uh, fellows hopefully uh, will collaborate in this um, task. Uh, regarding the success uh, factors uh, I uh, faced uh, in my past experience in this project, there was, there was a willingness of the institution in order to implement uh, the uh, selected strategy for uh, better education and good research work. The challenges are actually lack of time, the unavailability of the staff. Target one, my first target is uh, fulfilled, which is the identification of the frequent error. Uh, the second step, which are going to uh, do, is to create the suitable teaching strategy and to uh, implement it in order to reach our final goal, that is to reduce the diagnostic error frequency in dentistry. A lesson learned uh, from uh, my previous uh, yeah, you work in this uh, project is that uh, medical education uh, is really uh, a wide field that requires a permeable, permeable level of knowledge. And in various aspects, including quality management, social and economic health related issues, psychology, related rules and regulation, community services, and etc. Uh, and we should read, read, read. As I told you, we should read a lot. Uh, we should have a constant acquisition of knowledge is a must for the proper uh, implementation of theories and strategies in projects. And indeed, interaction uh, between medical educators is very important. Changes made to my project, uh, as a matter of fact, no changes uh, till now. No changes uh, were done. And I'm actually on the chart of uh, However, we were a little bit late, one month, uh, to our pre-scheduled uh, plan due to various issues. Uh, well, I can, the progress was not bad. The uh, survey questionnaire was validated, uh, conducted uh, in order to identify the uh, diagnostic errors and to evaluate the teaching staff awareness about this problem. Then the survey was done. 
the survey objectives were uh, fulfilled and hopefully the next step in the formation of focus group and identification of the uh, adequate uh, medical education strategy will be done in time. Thank you.